Hello, Amy. Today I'm going to show you some fun things to do for your new baby coming, or you can do this at a baby shower, like a crafty fun shower. Um, first, we're going to do a teething necklace, and these are the completed project. But basically, you just um, cut some strips of fabric ahead of time, and then you fold them in half, do a stitch along the edge, and then you turn them inside out, and you basically have this. And this is what you would want to do if you have it um, this at a shower, if you have this set up for people to do at a shower. So you start with tying a knot, and then it's really simple. All you do is knot, and then you add a bead all the way down, and then you knot again. And you keep on doing that until you get the full thing done. And you have the little bead inside. Uh, you do that until you get it done. And then you take a ribbon. And this is to tie around mom's neck um, for the um, necklace effect. So you just tie it at the end. Do two knots to make sure it's secure. And then you do it at the other end, and then you end up with a necklace like this. Um, you can do a nice little bow at the end. And then our next project, this is another um, kind of a crafty shower idea, or you can do this at home. Um, you get a colored onesie unsnap the bottom and you want to make sure you supply these if you're going to do it at a shower um, just a piece of cardboard so the bleach doesn't leak through um, and you flip it over and you just get one of these bleach pens and your guests or you can draw on any design um, you can write on baby's name um, just kind of trace it out. And then you let this set for a while. And then you just throw it in the wash. And then you come out. Um, it comes out like those there. Um, and people can kind of personalize them if they have you know, grandmas and aunts, they can write things on there to do with them. Or you could, um, you can write last names so it can get personal. It's fun and unique. And then our next project is you can either do a canvas with baby's uh, monogram, uh, first letter of their name, and the guests, you can uh, provide a paint pen, and the guests can put on a fingerprint for the letter, you trace out the letter and then write a nice little note. Or you can also do a cardstock and frame it if you'd like, um, if you don't want to do a big canvas. And basically, you just cut out a letter and tape it on. And then every guest gets a chance to just do a fingerprint here and there. This is one that they don't sign. Um, it would just be a full color fingerprint um, monogram. And it's kind of a unique. Um, alternative to a guest book or um, anything like that. So, And then the, the other um, idea you can note in your invitations to maybe bring a book instead of a card. And then um, they can write a nice little note in the cover um, for a baby. And that kind of helps grow their library. And then another idea is to provide a book, a blank book or a journal. The journals are easier to find. I found this at um, a bookstore in the area. And everybody gets a chance to write a, a page in the baby's book before baby. And then mom and dad can um, add to it as the baby grows. So these are some fun ideas to do for your baby or to do at a baby shower.